The mega earthquake of April 25, 2015 caused great destruction in Dolka district. Moreover, the aftershock on the May 12 left Dolka devastated. Rescue efforts and relief distribution to rehabilitate people traumatized by this unimaginable human and physical devastation started coming at a great pace. There was a need to build strong permanent houses to people that were barely living in makeshift tents. Similarly, bringing happiness to people traumatized by the earthquake and ensuring their livelihood was another important task at hand. Male members of village started heading out for employment. This caused depletion in agricultural output. Arable land were left barren. A special program was needed to face this circumstance and to ensure livelihood to earthquake survivors staying back in the villages. To address this need, Rural Reconstruction Nepal started collaboration with a German organization named Bread for the World. Community Initiatives for Livelihoods and Rehabilitation in Response to Earthquake in Nepal 2015, a project being run in settlements of southwestern parts of Dolka district, has done a commendable work in a short period of time. अब संस्थाले अब रोड पनि बनाइदिएको छ माथि स्कुलिङहरु गरेको छ अब त्यहाँबाट ध्वनि गर्नलाई हामीले सजिलो पनि भयो अ टास्क ह्याज हेन्स बीन अंडरटेकन टु ट्रान्सफर्म सस्टेनेबल बेस्ड एग्रीकल्चर टु अ मोर कमर्शियल एन्ड एन्टरप्रेन्योरल बेस्ड वन a positive effect is being noticed in the lifestyle of more than 3,000 families from programs for infrastructure development, animal husbandry and employment generation. The six villages Boch, Lakuri, Pusafeda, Katakuti and Magapawa is home to various indigenous communities facing the vicious cycle of poverty. All the families in these villages have lost their home to the earthquake. The people of these villages were compelled to live in makeshift tents. Taking note of this situation, the project has aspired to help them build a strong private house. Now new houses are being built on everyday basis. People are seen building their houses with great joy. The newly built houses have changed the face of the village. The improvement made to the road condition and addition of more road linkages have helped the construction of the houses a great deal. The roads linking the village were in operation for only three months in a year, even till the year 2016. The volunteers brought the community together and helped improve the condition of the road by using cobblestone and flattening the path of the road. The improved rural roads have brought district headquarters Chodikot closer. The locals believe that the roads will be pivotal in increasing both income and pace of the development activities. The first task under the project was to upgrade and mend the roads. The roads then came into all year round operation. The task of carrying people on back on bamboo baskets was full of hassles. The schools were being run in makeshift tents after their buildings were destroyed in the earthquake. 
Technology Project is constructing new buildings in place of the temporary learning center. The children will get to continue their studies without any hassles once the buildings are constructed. <laughs> The erstwhile Boch Village Development Committee, now Bhimeshwar Municipality Ward 8, has immense possibilities for vegetable farming, horticulture and animal husbandry. The local share of bitter experience of the vegetables rotting in the farm due to the lack of transport facilities, especially during the rainy season. With the betterment of road, the farmers are finding it easy to bring potatoes and other agricultural products to the marketplace and sell them. The locals are seeing great possibilities of generating income through vegetables and other cash crops, especially with the all-year-round road and transport facilities. Potato farming is good in all villages under the program. The demand and price are also very good, but there was no proper refrigeration facilities for the storage of the seeds. To address this issue, the project is building a refrigeration house. The farmers have also been imparted knowledge regarding storage and refrigeration. This will ensure protection of quality seeds and motivate the farmers for commercial potato farming. More than 9,000 saplings of large cardamom are growing in Chitra Bahadur Karki's garden in Katakuti village. He started commercial farming of large cardamom after receiving both inspiration and assistance from RRN. Karki's hard work is already paying off. Story of Indra Bahadur Kesi is also very interesting. He started commercial farming after retiring from 27 years of military service. RRN support has brought big change in the life of Binda Gesi, who did not even knew about large cardamom plant before. Four hundred people like Chitra Bahadur, Binda, and Indra Bahadur of this village are now involved in large cardamom farming. Irrigation facility is another important aspect to inject hope. Farmers could not produce more when they had to rely on rainwater. They had to face severe irrigation problems. RRN has helped to initiate serious effort to transform small farmers as professionals in such desperate situation. <laughs> Irrigation facilities for the vegetable farming are being constructed by harvesting rainwater even in places lacking regular supply of water. 
People of the local community are being gathered with the aim of building a big pond here for distributing water in farms all over. A local farmer donated his farmland for the pond. The villagers are preparing to cultivate their barren land after getting irrigation facilities. Farmers have started showing their interest in kiwi farming which can make good profit from the barren lands and is nutritious health-wise. Two hundred saplings of kiwi are growing in the land of a local farmer Rama Kharka. The water will reach the kiwi saplings from the irrigation pond by drop irrigation mechanism. Not only Rama, Dilbahadur's rest of Lakuri village has also planted almost three hundred saplings of kiwi. In this way, the village is witnessing a new awakening. According to a statistics, only 20% people of this region can ensure yearly survival through traditional farming. Other 80% will have to find better alternatives. This is why people leave their farms barren and head out to cities for employment. Chairman of Creative Farmers Group Katakuti Dil Bahadur Tamang has become a source of inspiration in his village. Dil Bahadur came back from Malaysia after eight years. He had the duty to reconstruct his house destroyed by the earthquake. He left the thoughts of returning back to Malaysia after seeing the pain and sorrow of the villagers devastated by the earthquake. Just when he was thinking of doing something in his own village, Araran arrived like a boon from the heavens. Coffee plantation has also started in the village. The farmers started coffee plantation after knowing that good income can be generated through it. Farmers knew about this from one of the observation visits organized by Ren. Farmers of every household have planted between 50 to 200 coffee saplings. Suresh Lama, who is a teacher by profession, is also a determined farmer. doing my learning he has started a nursery with the aim of producing more than 50,000 coffee saplings. Farmers' learning centers have been started in all villages under the project. These learning centers are very important for learning how to deal with pests. Farmers say the learning centers have helped them to lessen the adverse effects of chemical fertilizers and pesticides and increase the organic production. Farmers 
Farmers say the Farmers Learning Center has informed them about the new ways of eco-friendly farming and how to lessen the adverse effects of chemicals on the soil, water, air and crop-friendly animals and insects. Discussions have also been initiated in the learning centers regarding new ways of potato harvest. The farmers believe problems like rotting will be resolved by the new ways. Farmers of Magapawa were disappointed since years because lack of irrigation facilities had prevented them from commercializing their occupation. But now they are enthusiastically volunteering for laying pipes for irrigation. Prospects of reaching farmlands with irrigation production of cash crops and income generation have rendered Mankumari excited. <laughs> Every village committee takes on different farming profession. Some do vegetable farming, some do kiwi, while others farm ginger. Some also do animal husbandry. Farmers are putting a lot of effort to become commercial. They are learning technology and knowledge from the agriculture technicians who come to their doorsteps. The technicians are now wooing the community to timely complete their task. They are helping to add modern technologies to the old ways. Sundali Bishokarma of Boch has planted chili in her nursery. Sundali, who does not have prior knowledge on chili plantation, is being held by RRN's agro technicians. As group members are buying her chili saplings for farming, her investment looks risk free. <laughs> Along with commercial farming, this project has also initiated animal husbandry for organic fertilizer. The concept of cattle rearing area has been brought to encourage animal husbandry. Better breeds of cows have been provided to the farmers improving the breed of local cows as well. These cows have been purchased and distributed from the cattle rearing farmers group in collaboration of rural municipality and farmers. One cow gives up to 16 liters of milk.
आरणले अब गाई दिए को था गाई दे रहा बाद दूध देखियो बड़ी नहीं देखियो दूध खारा पनी नशा के नहीं Farmers are happier to get cows which give more milk than local cows. How much is our cow? Eight thousand seven hundred. Moyna ko. Local women have played decisive role in buying these cows. The role of women in Nepal's agricultural sector is ever increasing. Even in Dolka, more than one third families run by a matriarch. Women have been taking responsibility of their families since the male members have been leaving the village for foreign employment. The project has also been giving special priority for women participation and leadership. Special attention is being given to make women self-dependent and professional. Women have also been taking lead in the project's activities. The project is active in creating an environment of mutual benefit by facilitating people's participation in cooperatives. आरएनएलजी वाला यो किसी उपस्थित संकलन केंद्र बनाए जिनका निम्ति आग्रह गरीशा के गरीब मामले कई रकम से लोकल एंड स्वागत गरीशा स्थाले पर नहीं इसमें आले को आरएनएल बटन कई रकम आए आको इस आपले से यो आम्रे वाला किसी उपस्थित संकलन केंद्र बने को था यो यो वड़ा में पनी अब आम्रे आम उत्पादन गरे का � all the tasks being operated here are mandated to be sustainable. That is why the project has been collaborating and coordinating with the local government in all its activities. This program, which targets 3,000 earthquake survivors including women, Dalits and marginalized communities affiliated to 35 cooperatives and 90 groups, has celebrated its second anniversary of operation. During this period, 90 kilometers of dusty roads have also been improved for all-year operation. Two dozen irrigation projects have reached the final stage of construction. Over 50% women of targeted households have already received the knowledge on how to construct earthquake-resistant houses. Many women are now involved in skilled income-generating works. With projects like Agriculture Feeder Road, Agro Market Building, Agro Product Collection Center and Community Building, RRN is spreading hope and belief to people of erstwhile six village development committees of Dolka district for uplifting their life and livelihoods.